So I'm just uh, checking something that I found a while ago. So I've got just looking at the F1 store. I've looked specifically yeah, F1 store at Formula1.com, which is their website. And as you can see, that's the link here. I can click onto that. It takes me here. Let's ignore the ad for now. And you can see they got obviously products. If we click on brand one of these, I'll just look at $70 listed here. It's f one onecom I click on it, see the item, $70. But what you can actually do, I've got a coupon, is put a number after F1 store. Let's put three there. Still $70. Let's try another number. Let's try two. Now it's down to $68. Well, I'll just put one, I wonder if that one works as well. That one doesn't work, so it's just F1 store. Try five. So maybe it doesn't go up that high. But there are different versions of the website. We've got $69 now, so we've had 68, 69, 70. Basically, what I think is happening is depending on where you click on from, they redirect you to a different version of the website with a different number. And each of these websites have different uh, prices of their products. And it just appears to be intended to be a way to charge people from different income brackets, different amounts. So they could use, for example, advertisements uh, and target them for different uh, income or amounts of money or different richer or poorer areas. So to try to get the most amount of money out of people, they sort of, uh, in the rich areas, price it higher, poor areas, price it lower. At least that's what appears to be happening. You can't exactly say for sure. Because normally you'd have stuff like this where it's different numbers like WW1, WW2 for different uh, web addresses. It used to be done for load balancing as a way to spread the load between different servers and you just randomly assign someone to each server. But I think now they've just repurposed that now that load balancing isn't really a thing just to be a way to uh, send different people different prices. I remember it used to be more drastic where you could get something on one site that could be like $10 difference. Maybe with more expensive products it might do that. So this was 159.60. Let's go back to the regular one. And 161. So it's only a couple dollars difference. It definitely used to be bigger differences, but I'm surprised that they're able to get away with having multiple versions of the same website just with different prices. So if you are ever using a Formula One store to probably buy anything, consider using the different uh, numbers in the URL just to try to see if you can get yourself a slightly cheaper price but it's not really a common thing that you see where they've got different prices uh, different versions of the exact same website but that's it for this video if you like the video like the video comment down below your thoughts and if you and subscribe so you can see videos like this in the future